Hello, uh, welcome to the second part of this tutorial. So once you're finished with the certificate generation and you're done with um, coding the app, you know what, it, what you want, and you know it works fine, um, then what you'll do is you'll change the build mode to say release and it doesn't matter which device but what you'll do is you'll clean the solution clean the project it should already clean it but um, and then once you're done with cleaning it you just say archive for publishing device economy doesn't target valid iOS device hmm interesting Set a device for archiving. Um, let's see. Oh, there we go. I guess we need to change to generic device. What does it say? What about this? No provisioning profiles match. Oh, yeah. We need to make sure that we install those certificates that we downloaded. Downloads. that installs what we could do is we can go back <clears throat> to the developer account and click on iTunes connect if you haven't been given permission you have to have permission to get this so click on that go to iTunes connect my apps and say Create new app, iOS, Civil Assistant, and it's obviously Chinese. <laughs> um, choose the correct bundle ID, SKU. Um, <laughs> what you could do for this is um, let me see, what do I have in the procedures? Did it finish it? No. Okay. Yeah, so this is the procedure document. And search control F, skew. Or just the app name. Okay. But no spaces. So this assistant. Create. Good. So that provisioning profile was done. So the second provisioning profile as well. That's completed too. And now you go back here and say archive for publishing. This takes a while, so while that goes on, we can um, complete some of this information here. So optional, optional, category, business second category. Um, we could have some like productivity and save. We need to go to pricing and availability. It's obviously for free and it's available in all countries. Um, with no discount. And we don't really care about this. Say so save. So that's done. This is still building. 
we can continue. Though the stuff is not really required to be done right now. Um, but, but I'll show it to you anyway. Um, what you'll notice is once the app has been uploaded, it will, th this will like not be empty anymore. So we can't really do anything about it right now. But I will show you this part. This comes to like the extreme end of the project, but usually it takes a while. Let's um, assign your keys. Yes. Allow. Archiving. Allow. Allow. There we go. Bam. This usually takes like half an hour on sort of computers. Um, that now that it's archived, sign and distribute for the App Store. Choose the correct distribution identity and select this. What's wrong with this? DA sales assistant. Oh crap. Hmm. Need to make sure the provisioning profile had the same name. Let me make sure. Trying to. Oh, okay. I think that's what the problem was. I had not opened Xcode before. And when you open Xcode, it asks for me to enable developer mode. And that was not enabled. Okay, let's check this again. Yeah. So that was it. I just had to enable developer mode and then install those two certificates. Click this, click that, click this, and next. And sorry. So collect it, ready to publish, publish it. Go to documents, projects folder, the folder. Um, Let's put it in the main folder itself and say save. Allow, allow. And don't do this. Close. Right click. Everyone finder. Now double click on this. It opens up Xcode. Click on the file, upload, and you need to add an app ID that's enrolled, add, so I'll put in my Apple ID that I created uh, the certificates with, number two, three, There we go. And um, MLab, choose preparing archive, preparing for upload. I can't believe this is so fast. <laughs> it's used to take us at least half an hour because we used to have a slow Mac in my previous work. And this is taking seconds. It's crazy. Okay, going back here, what you'll notice is that it asks for all of these pieces of information and, you know, uh, like, 
it'll basically show you what all you need. See, so you need screenshots, you need some keywords, you need description, you need all of this before you can actually go ahead and submit. Um, so while this is uploading, let me go ahead and so there's no sign in required. But let's put in my contact information because I'm uploading the app. And I want any questions to just come over here. Um, version release. Manual releases version. So that uh, when you submit it for review, you'll get a notification saying, hey, you passed all the requirements and now it's ready to release so um, whenever you're ready it'll go live and that's what usually you prefer manual release then going back copyright information um, choosing the file first the app icon has to be 1024 by 1024 so you go to upload Copyright, let's see. Just another for copyright. Hmm. for jobs. Yeah. What's up with this? Why is it saying? Oh, I think I know why. Because the assets looked a little weird. The images. Definitely not normal. So we need copyright document. For sure. It's good we're doing this right now. Hmm. Okay, so let's leave that blank. Image can contain transparencies. That's what our image contains. Yeah, it's not going to work. We need a different image. Ooh, this one's looking like it's submitting. As soon as the build comes, we'll come here. Uh, description. Support URL. www.testamericainc.com Keywords. Sales. Assistant. <coughs> Just America. Environment. Labs. And mm, sales. TA net. TA net. TA sales assistant. Okay. Um, description app serves as a product. Activity tool force for account executives and sales directors at Test America. Save. Now that the upload is successful, it's going to be processing here for maybe 15 or 30 minutes. 
and then we can go to test flight and test it. Add testers. So while this goes on, I will go back to the developer account and go over that one part where we add test devices. And <clears throat> sorry for that. Go here, add a device. Let's say Summers iPhone. And it asks for a UDID. So I click on my phone and it shows serial number here. You tap on it, you get this UDID. And you can't really copy it. So, ED 46A 1F5 86F 6F 9D 7604 E7604 FF31 CFF17B4 F zero D two five D four eight two eight A A four eight two eight A A There we go. Continue and register. So for those of you who skipped the first tutorial video, what we just did is we added another alpha tester to our um to our app or to our account and there are only a hundred alpha testers that you can add but you can add I believe like a thousand beta testers but the thing the reason why you use alpha testing is because in order to beta test Apple reviews the app first and there's a high likelihood that you'll get rejected so going back to iTunes connect Um, also, because I added it to the alpha testing devices, so what I can do now is I can go back to my Apple, uh, my Visual Studio, select my phone here, and build the phone, build the app to my phone. Something I wasn't able to do earlier. I think I'll have to make a third video for this test flight. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's see. Yeah. That's basically what I have. Thank you for watching.